Are you a pharmacy student who wants to learn more about postgraduate training opportunities and residencies? In this video, I teach you how to rank your residency programs. Stay to the end where I share my most important step. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Jessica Louie. I'm a board certified critical care pharmacist, associate professor, and entrepreneur. I help people find meaning beyond burnout. On this channel, I talk about passive income and simplifying to combat burnout and stress in your life. I also share openly about my burnout story and how we paid off massive student loans. Make sure to watch those videos as well. This video is my personal opinion. If you don't know my journey, I completed a PJ1 in pharmacy practice and a PJ2 in critical care, both from ASHP accredited programs. Now this video is part of our residency series where I talk about how to apply to residency programs, how to interview for them, and now how to rank the programs. Let's get started. The first step is to be really honest with yourself. Now that you've interviewed with these programs, it's time for you to decide what programs you want to rank. Remember that you do not need to rank every program you interviewed at. You can choose what programs you want to match at. And if you feel that you would not want to spend a year of your life at a program, do not rank it because there's always a chance that your last program that you rank could be the one you match to. And you know it is a binding contract when you match to it. So we don't wanna back out of that contract. It's really discouraged unless you have really personal um, reasons to back out or emergency situations. So just don't rank the program if you do not wanna match at that program. My next piece of advice is remember this list is your list. It's not anyone else's list. It's not your classmates list. It's not your family members list. It's not your preceptors list. This list is personal to you and you do actually do not need to show it to anyone else. You also do not need to take into consideration certain people's opinions or certain people's estimates of how you will match. It's your list. And the algorithm for the matching program is always gonna favor your rank list as the candidate over the program's rank list. So how the algorithm will work is that it will first look at your rank list. So let's say you interviewed at 10 different programs and you decided to rank all 10 programs and then the program's rank list. So the program's rank list, let's say most programs interviewed 20 candidates and ranked all 20 candidates and they have five spots available. So that means that spot one, two, three, four, five is for five positions, okay? So how the algorithm will work is the algorithm will go to your rank list. Let's say program XYZ was number one on your rank list, then they're going to need to go to program XYZ's rank list and see if you are ranked. So let's say you're ranked number 10 on program XYZ. So that will be a match for you. And you're only going to get bumped from matching to that program if the nine other people above you have already, already ranked um, their program as one as well. So let's say um, you know you get bumped um, and then the algorithm goes to your number two program. Let's say your know, number two program. And now it's going to go to the program's rank list and see, oh, did that program rank you? And let's say they had five positions and they ranked you number five. So then that was a match. And then actually it's gonna be a guaranteed match now because you can't get bumped if they have five positions and they ranked you number five. So that's how you're gonna to match to that program. The next step is to align your goals. So this is a step where you really want to be clear about your professional goals of what you want out of this residency, you know, over the next one or two years of your life. You know, is this a program that's going to provide you opportunities to grow? Is it going to provide you opportunities to learn? Is it going to provide you opportunities to match into PGY2 in a specialty area that you're interested in? You know, different things like that. The next step is to think about fit over the name of the program. Now, a lot of times it's going to be really hard because people have this preconceived notion to try to match to really big name schools or really big name programs because of how they are viewed you know, from the public standpoint of healthcare because we know what some big hospitals are throughout the country and we think that, oh, that means they must have a great pharmacy residency program that if they have a big name. But that actually is not true in a lot of cases. So, you know, thinking about what's the fit, you know, it might fit for my learning style, fit for my interest areas, fit for flexibility, for location, different things. And that's always going to take precedence over the name of the program. And then finally, thinking about the minor details. And we talked about this in assessing the different programs, finding the right fit for you. So if you haven't watched that video, be sure to go back and watch that video with 30 different questions to ask yourself. And these are minor questions about salary and compensation and location and you know, flexibility of the program to make sure that some of these minor details also align with your goals and your value system. Overall, I really encourage you to sit down and put a lot of thought into your decision-making process. This is a really big decision. Once you submit your rank list, I really encourage you to relax and just wait for the results. 
you put a lot of time and effort into this process over the past year and a lot of interview time and a lot of you know effort and now it's time to see what happens and what's gonna be the best path forward in your career I also want to remind you that if match day does come around and you do not match it's not the end of the world please go back and watch my video on if you fail NatPlex it's also not the end of the world and it has very similar types of philosophies that I think are really helpful for matching as well there are different things you can do for second round of match and for different opportunities that come about and sometimes you know we don't see it in the moment but it was for the best in our life Thank you for watching everyone. Make sure that you're also downloading our resources for your board exams coming up. Until next time, cultivate joy.